guys welcome back to fourth and troll fantasy i want to just talk about this real quick because please we we both were extremely high on devon hn coming into this season i had him as my as my rb4 at the start of week one uh you had him as your rb1 coming into the season <laughs> wes I did. And boy, oh boy, like 60,000 people on TikTok were not vibing with that. Not fans. Mm-mm. Shout out to the real ones who who were coming to bat for HN in the comments and defending the take. Uh, yeah. Guys, two weeks in, I get it. It's only two weeks. Okay, he's the dude. He is the guy. Uh, what were he most injured? Most injured? He was injured last week, and he was the guy. Guys, to over 20 fantasy points in both these games, he drops nearly a 30 bomb in prime time to start your week for fantasy football. I mean, like, yeah, man. listen, I said it before. I'm going to say it again. Grow up if you think Devon H. and can't be a top five <laughs> running back. Like, that's yeah. blank. Like, that's it. Like, that's where that that's where that lands. That's where that ends up. I... I mean, he is just going, and if people want to talk about touches, opportunities, right? How's how's twenty nine for you? Beautiful, twenty nine opportunities. Beautiful, thirty opportunities. Like it's like it's like great, cool. He's he, I get it. He, well, he's injury prone. He, he was injured with the ankle this week. Great, and off the ankle injury, he did 30, 30 opportunities, thirty fantasy points. Like it's he's. Yeah. He is absolutely that guy, and uh, and and he is going to continue as long as he is healthy, stays on the field. Like we're we're going to be good to go with Devon A. Chan, and and there's and, no reason to think that he won't. Like he's he's and, already shown that he can stay on the field. All the comments, all the all the reasons to say that that A. Chan it can't be top five, let alone that that he he can't be number one. We're saying things like. He's injury prone, that he's too small of a running back, that he's behind Raheem Mostert, that he's not going to get enough opportunities, that he's not going to get enough in the receiving game because of Tyree Kill. Literally proven wrong on Thursday night. All of yeah. that is completely out the window. And that is what we tried to explain in our top 10. And, and especially the very point I made about the Dolphins training camp is that they're involving him in the passing game. And, and and I tried to try to uh, refute the the idea that Tyree Kill was too important to the offense in order to make HN a PPR relevant back. And I said, guys, there was a practice where where Tua threw it to HN five times in a two minute drill and threw it to him for a touchdown. Here we go. Look at that. Seven for seven. 69 yards and a receiving touchdown, not to mention that's a second straight week, seven for seven. The PPR volume is unbelievable. This is like Austin Eckler prime, and I'm loving it. I'm yeah. loving it, and people made fun of me for taking him in the second round. Look who's – I mean, I feel, I feel pretty good so far. I feel like this is great, and good luck trying to trade for him, especially yeah, he had his ankle injury, and people were running – to go get Jeff Wilson Jr. and see if maybe Jalen Wright was going to try to have a good game. Yeah. Noah, do you want to talk a little bit about how they did? Uh, yeah. Uh, Jeff Wilson had 3.2 fantasy points. He didn't have a single carry. He had two catches for 12 yards, and Jalen Wright had hmm. five carries for four yards. Listen, I will say, just because I love my boy Jalen Wright, the box score does not reflect his performance, okay? He had some good he, rushes. He, was playing, he had some, he had good, some good rushes. rushes <laughs> some good rushes called back by penalties. Disappointing stuff. But, like, this is, this all just goes to show, like, it, it is HN and it is HN. Like, it, like... Yes. It just feels good, dude. It feels good to yes. have been... Like, week one was such a disaster as far as, like, just offenses in the NFL and like just yeah. like there weren't a ton of touchdowns scored. It was just rough for like a lot of people in fantasy football, especially tight ends. But to 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 be here into week two, and I'll I'll be, I'll, I'll break the fourth wall here, Wes. Um, Please, I drafted the McCaffrey HN stack in in multiple leagues this season. In multiple leagues, sure. I have I have McCaffrey and HN. Um, Tuesday to Tuesday to Thursday was not a fun time for for me. If I'm being completely honest with you, uh, I was sitting here going, yeah. "Cool, my first two picks 
Uh, it's week two, and I'm not going to have them. Yep. Awesome. This sounds great. And guess what? I'm probably not going to have McCaffrey this week. Good thing we can't cuff with Jordan Mason. But uh, HN is absolutely just feasting away and is and is going to be an absolute animal. The efficiency is down. Yeah. Cool. Don't care. Seven catches for 69 yards. Have fun. Go. Yeah. Grow you want to close, oh. close, close this thought on HN with just this statement. If you agree with me that Devon HN is absolutely already this season's league winner. Absolutely. Absolutely, he's already the season's league winner. You get what you in the third round. You got a top three running back. Congratulations! There you go. Enjoy your championship. 